94.7 The Wave, Greg Mack, and I have a couple of guests, Bobby Brown Hi. and his beautiful wife, Alicia, hey, who I'm always bragging about. <laughs> I absolutely <laughs> adore you and what you are doing, which we're getting ready to talk about. Uh, I think that the only thing that I would say is, is I uh, got a text from Alicia the other day. She says, Greg, you up? I'm getting ready to call you. And you never did call. <laughs> <laughs> so We did speak. It was just via text. Is that what it was? <laughs> she does that to me, too. Yeah. So she wakes so, me up and then tells me she's going to call me. So the moral to the story is if Felicia texts you and say, are you up? I'm going to call you. It ain't going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so good seeing you guys. You as well. I you always well. love hanging out with you. Bobby and I go way back, of course, to the New Edition days. And when Bobby went solo, and uh, I've just always been not just a, a friend, but a fan. Thank you. you Thank know? you. I appreciate it. And uh, what you guys are doing for your daughter, let's get right into that, for yes. Bobby Christina. Uh, I'm going to let you guys talk about that. The Bobby Christina Serenity, Serenity House. Yes. Serenity House. Tell us about this. I'm going to let my wife, you know, do the um, introduction. Honor. Yeah. Y- yeah. Yeah. Well, the Bobby Christina Serenity House, you can check it out at bobbychristinaserenityhouse.org, is a foundation that we established in honor of Bobby Chris. And it is um, a foundation that supports and uh we are raising funds, we're raising awareness, we're raising voices for domestic violence survivors. Mm-hmm. Uh, most people call them victims, but you know, there are that, and, and we want to help the survivors, um, give them safe havens, really, uh, place these homes all over the states, uh, starting in Los Angeles, where uh, women and children and families can come, you know? Um, we just wish there were places like this at the moment that you think that you need to get out of that dangerous situation. Don't worry about what you need, what you have. It's your life that you need. So we want to build these homes, provide these safe havens where they can come. And from there, we'll Food, help you get clothing, on your feet. Mm-hmm. You know, um, education on, on domestic violence, um, support as far as um, spiritually mm-hmm. and um, therapy. mentally therapy for you know for mm-hmm. the children so you know it, it's, it's just something that's been dear dear on our hearts you know since we lost my daughter um, and it's just you know it's just out there it's just it's way too much well I want to mention it's March 4th yes okay because I know a lot of people aren't going to listen to the whole thing so I want to make sure they understand it's March 4th mm-hmm. March 4th uh, our if first you just, fundraising yeah if you just look at the 947thewave.com website yeah we're going to post all the information leading over to the, the site yeah, where you can get all of the uh, it's information it's also her birthday so we, yeah. we're going to do it annually on her birthday March 4th um, would have been her 25th birthday so it's a special date for us and uh, yes, it'll be here in Los Angeles at the Taglin Complex. It's going to be an amazing evening. Obviously, yes. it's a very serious epidemic and cause, and we're, our mission is very important. But we're also going to make it a celebration because it is her birthday. So we have some amazing performers going to be yeah. in the house. A Good lot friends of friends of mine, uh, mm-hmm. Cedric the Entertainer, is going to host. Um, Babyface is also going to perform. We also have, you know, a few people. Uh, Few jamming. other people mm-hmm. that's Surprise gonna guests that are yeah jamming. that's gonna come in and you know sit in and jam. Um, of course, you know Faith Evans mm-hmm. is gonna be there. Um, along you forgot with, to tell him that Greg Mack is uh, uh, Greg Mack will be, be there. Um, gonna be. He'll be in the house. <laughs> just don't don't tell him that you're bringing me to Valet Park the car. <laughs> BBD, yeah. you know, right. a bunch of my friends, you know. So it's yeah. gonna be a great event. It's gonna be a great evening, mm-hmm. and it's all for a great cause, you know. Um, so I I would encourage people to you know either donate or you know come on out and you know celebrate what we're celebrating. Bobby, there was a time you know in between there because I never really I don't think I ever met Bobby Christina. No, because uh, you and I we we're both in our careers we get pretty busy. <laughs> uh, when all of this happened, how did it, I mean? What, 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 I mean, I, you must have went through that stage of you know. Uh, I mean, how does one react to that? Uh, I couldn't possibly tell you. Um, I was, it was a big fog, you know. Devastating. It, it was really devastating. Um, shocking. Uh, I, you know, I can think of so many words to, to put into it, but I could never express how the feeling was, you know. Um, I think I go through it every day. 
and um, it's on a daily daily basis that I recover and I'm trying to recover from um, but me being able to help someone else from going through that that's what this is about mm -hmm. helping another father deal with you know losing a child or how not to lose a child how not to lose a child yeah yeah, you know, when something as devastating as this happens, and, you know, there's quite, unfortunately, there's a lot of parents out there that feel the same way Bobby do with losing a child. I don't think it's ever anything that you get over or get through. It's how to deal and how to process. And and I know that for our family, this is very important because it's part of our healing. It's part of our honoring her. It's part of us remembering and celebrating the mm -hmm. good and not, you know, and then um, helping someone else not be in Bobby's shoes, you know, mm -hmm. not have to deal with losing a child to domestic violence or, you know, anything, anything having to do else, with that. Yeah. So it's really important. And we just know that by the outpour of the people. And just we appreciate everyone's support. And just speaking up, really allowing their voices to be heard is really important as well. I could only imagine. I have a 14-year-old daughter now. Yeah. I could only imagine. I, I would, you know, mm -hmm. probably be locked up somewhere. Uh, <laughs> We're trying to keep Bobby know. from being locked up. And, uh, <laughs> So it's for serious. Bobby to be as strong, but you know, what's more important is that you're not, you know, you're, you're making something positive by helping other people. And I just can't help but admire you for that one, man. And Thank you. This is the first you. annual, anything that we can do here at the wave or uh, anything that we can do personally. I'm, I, th I guess the main thing is getting the word out. Absolutely. Getting the word out. Yes. And raising the funds to, to build the first, the first building, you know, the first house, um, I think is really important. Mm hmm. And where can people go to just tell them the website? Yeah, www.bobby with an I, Christina with a K, serenityhouse.org. All of the information is there. You can donate if you don't live in the state and you can't attend. We're going to have plenty of more fundraising events. Uh, definitely looking forward to doing something in Atlanta and as well as Boston. But right now, our first one is here in Los Angeles. And you can go there, find out ways to support, donate, get the word out, and just uh, be a part of our mission so we appreciate that alicia thank you for keeping him so grounded <laughs> you know she's, i try she's, she's, she's a strong woman i try she's a strong woman but to, to be able to deal with me has was, to be, I, she has I, to be strong i've got to say this real quick oh because boy. it's kind of funny i was <laughs> I, yeah i know alicia's like i'm giving her a hard time <laughs> i was telling someone earlier how we met mm -hmm. do you remember the greek theater and so uh, Bobby's getting ready to go on stage. I'm getting ready to, yeah. you know, introduce you and stuff. Mm -hmm. Alicia comes over there and she says, you need to get off stage. You need to get off stage. <laughs> I said, well, I'm hosting the show. I yes. don't know where else to go. And she <laughs> she kind of looked at me. She says, hold on. And so she walked off and then she came back. She said, what's your name? I said, well, I'm Greg Mack. Oh, you cool. You cool. You're there. <laughs> but Sorry. she still kept an eye on me that whole night. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm was, sorry. That she was, was so a stickler funny. for perfection. I know, and she was probably what eight months pregnant, seven months pregnant. <laughs> oh yeah, super time. pregnant I was at the time. Exactly, but I'm always so uh, excited to be hanging out with you guys. So thank you guys for allowing us thank to be you. a part you of it. You are amazing. For, thank you for uh, supporting. Doing what you're doing and Absolutely. the support that you give us always. Absolutely. Um, so thank you guys on behalf of 94.7 The Wave. What would you like to tell the Wave listeners? We love you. <laughs> <laughs> this is our number one station, I'll tell you that. Yes, so it is. please keep supporting them. They're awesome. That's what I want to say. <laughs>